Welcome to tonight's Alabama adventure, getting close to Bigfoot. Uh, what I want to do tonight is show you some uh, unusual formations that I've ran across lately concerning Bigfoot. The first one you're going to see is uh, a tree in Tallapoose County that has several limbs just laid around the base of the tree. Something very unusual. I had never run across this before. And then I've got some other formations. I've got a trail I want you to look at and uh, some other things that you might find interesting tonight. So this will just be a little quickie video for you. And, and everybody likes a little quickie every once in a while. So here's you one tonight. Hope you enjoy this Alabama adventure. We're uh, back down in uh, uh, Zena today and uh, looking for signs of Bigfoot. And uh, I've run across something that I want you to take a look at. Gotta see if we can get on down there to it. Look like this may be part of a trail right through here. But anyway, what I want you to notice is all these limbs piled around a tree. And I don't think that many limbs put a fell in one place around one particular tree. It's a foggy day today. Good day to hunt Bigfoot. Here's one that's leaned up in there. And what's the chances of that? And I really don't see anywhere for it to come from. This long one. Let me walk around the other side. It's very unusual looking that uh, this many limbs would be falling around one particular tree all leaned up against it. That could be a, a bent tree right there. It's another day that it's just a deathly quiet here in uh, Zena. No birds, no squirrels jumping, nothing. That's uh, usually a sign that a Bigfoot's pretty close by. Let me get one more little look on around of this tree. And let's go. Look at something else. I want you to look at was this uh, tree. It looks like where something's been uh, bumping up against it or maybe something's hand uh, as they would start to go up this hill. Right up here now is Highway uh, 22 again. The Bigfoot Highway of Alabama. But uh, let me turn back out this way. This is way the wind coming from and I'll let you look. You might see something because I can smell one. The bad odor. And the wind's coming from this direction. And of course, here comes a car. Seems like it's more. Odor's more coming from that holler. So I just let the video run a minute. You might see something move. It's an extremely foggy day, so it'd probably be pretty hard to see one. But here's another little shot of that tree we just came from. Right now, we're at a, a deserted house place just uh other side of Zena. Uh, something I've noticed uh, since the summer is these uh, two limbs right here have lean, been leaned up against this tree. I'll try to zoom in a little bit where you can see it a little better. They just appeared here uh, like that, uh, like uh, like overnight. I, this is uh, prime Bigfoot country right here in uh, Tallapoose County. And I sort of keep an eye for signs out. And uh, this formation, like I said, formed overnight one night.
right over here is a very uh, bent tree you can see I just wanted to uh, get it because it's a very sharply bent tree and uh, it's in uh, the end of Zana in Tallapoose County Okay, and now here's another uh, stick formation or log formation, you want to call it. This is more like logs. Let me see if I can get a little closer to it. These are uh, pretty good sized sticks. It's been uh, pulled in here from somewhere and then... Uh, I don't think all three of them would have failed in that particular formation. I was uh, doing this video when I was headed in and I ran across this I believe is another uh, trail. It, it would probably be a Bigfoot trail because of the width of it. Up there at the top you can see it looks like something's been coming through there and, and these leaves look like they've been kind of walked down more than on either side. It, it appears to be a little trail going up this bank where they've been crossing the road here. It would be a good place at night to come sit and watch. Something else you find quite a lot down here in this part of Alabama is uh, old forgotten, deserted, and abandoned uh, structures like barns, houses, and shacks. And although this old was probably one time a, a barn, it's fallen in. It would be a good place for a Bigfoot to uh, find refuge from uh, the winter weather. You can't ever tell there may be one laying in there watching this video in right now. As you can see, this old house at one time is uh, beginning to just fall apart, but it would still be a uh, good shelter for any type of animal or Bigfoot to get in out of the rain and uh, cold weather. That would even be a good place to get under to get out of the rain or the sleet or the snow sometime. Abandoned long ago. Even an old junk car would uh, provide a place to get out of the cold weather sometime. Like these two that have been abandoned for years along this old country road. You never know what might be sleeping in them or under them. Well, there you have it. That was tonight's Alabama adventure. A uh, little quickie for you. And uh, as I've said in the past, uh, what the hell have I said in the past? And as I've said in the past, the Alabama Bigfoot Society is run completely out of pocket. If it's to where you could make a donation, a monetary donation, or an equipment donation, it would be very much appreciated. And if you do make that donation, we'll send you a one-year free complimentary membership to the Society. And uh, I hope you enjoyed tonight. If you did, give us a like. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, we ask that you uh, subscribe to the channel. And we'll be looking for you next time on the next Alabama Adventure, Getting Close to Bigfoot.